Okay. Good evening, everyone. Hey, dear students. I am Pooja Vora, and I am very super excited, very very much to welcome you all in this awesome session by Yep for Young Learners. Thank you for choosing Yet Education Books, and because of that, you all are here with this exciting and wonderful session with us. We'll promise you that this evening you will learn something, you will gain something, and I know your summer vacations are going on. You are busy with your works, and you are taking time and all of these attendees are coming here and I'm really, 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 very excited and thrilled that uh, the students are from different schools and even from the different states are joining us in this and we'll promise you that every Friday and every Saturday in the month of May and June, we are going to meet together for exciting meetings, for enriching meetings and I'll encourage you all, I'll encourage giving you the encouragement that you participate in all the sessions and explore and dive with us in the coding world. So today we are all going to start our coding journey with programming and I'm sure that you all are going to enjoy this session. So I'm sharing my screen with you and before that let's have an ice breaking activity. Can you quickly write it down in the chat from which state you are joining? Quickly. Yeah, I'm getting Delhi, Delhi, Uttarakhand, MP, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Delhi, MP. Very nice, very nice. UK, very nice, very nice. So we have a diverse cities with us. Great, 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 great. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining this meeting. And I'm sharing my screen here. So let's start our journey with the scratch programming. Welcome to the world of coding. Okay, we know that coding nowadays, we are listening from everyone in our school, from the CBSC, that coding is important, programming is important. We all are enjoying this. And we are listening to from our teachers, the books that we are using in the computers, they are full of coding and giving us the programming. So let's first find it out that why we are here, why we are learning coding, why we are learning programming. So for that, I'll just want to share one slide with you here, which will give you a knowledge, a thing, a idea that why we are here, why we are learning coding and why we need this in our life. So very first thing that comes across here is problem solving. The very first thing, the problem solving is the most important thing in our life that we are going to do. Whenever come, we are come across in our home also, we go to the house, we ask a lot of people, how do we solve this problem? Solve and sometimes in your home, somebody asks them, they have programming skills, they have problem solving skills, but they will tell you how to do this. They enjoy it. So, the thing is that ki we need to inculcate this problem uh, skills to everyone. Whenever we face any problem, whenever we come across any problems, first we think that we solve this, then we'll go to the next level. So first, whatever complex problems we come into our life, complex problems come into our life, we make them in a manageable way. We take step by step things. So programming help us in problem solving skills in gaining the problem solving skills. Next comes the creativity. Whenever you start doing the programming, whenever you start doing the coding, you learn new ideas. You experiment different approach. Okay, if this thing is not going to be happened by this way, let's try the another way. Let's do that. So there are so many things that we will come across. Then computational thinking, computational thinking. Can anyone uh, just write it down in chat? What do you mean by computational thinking or how coding help in computational thinking? Computational, how computational thinking? Okay, very honest, we are saying, ma'am, I don't know. We are here to tell you, just try computational, computing. Yes, somebody's writing power, 
of solving methods great problem solving method related to computers or it help us in fast calculation power to think very good knowledge of computer very good logical thinking yes computing skills means whenever some data comes to you you do that data you use that data in organizing analyzing properly and identifying the patterns happening in that and those patterns will help you in finding out the solutions in or creating something so that is the computational th thinking then you we know that ki computing and all these skills will help us in future job opportunities also we will learn the future job opportunities then digital literacy when you know about the software so it gives you empowerment that we know how it works suppose uh, you know that everybody is having some alexa or uh, siri at home you ask questions from them they'll answer you yes or no they'll answer you so if uh, if you will ask your dadi and dada ji ki they will get surprised oh how do you know how do you know that he he has to sing that song so they get surprised because they don't know how the technology is working but you know when you learn all this thing you get the digital literacy you will get to know that how these things are happening so you know how to create the softwares so that has become the digital you become the digital literate and empowered then last but not the least collaboration and teamwork whenever you create softwares whenever you do something you do in a team you work in a team collaboration any software cannot be created by a single person we have different different ideas coming from the team itself so whenever we are going to learn the programming and coding then we learn how to work in a team how to work in a collaboration so these are few things few and there are so many other things also which the benefit of coding and programming is there but these are few things which come to know that you will come to know that yes we are learning coding we are learning programming so we are gaining something so in today's session we'll start with the scratch programming because scratch programming is a very good programming in which you have to do the block coding so you need not to write it down any code any syntax there are so many blocks available you have to just drag and drop and you will do it i know we have a two day session of scratch and we cannot cover the entire chapter but i'll try my level best that i'll give you a kick start for this and then you explore the software you work with the software you play with the coding and i can promise you you will take your programming skills your problem solving skills to the next level so you all are ready with me so let's have with the software so this is the agenda a small agenda that i have prepared today for uh understanding the scratch we will download you know how to download the scratch and work online the both things we will see we identify the components of the scratch window then we will see how sprites blocks and stages we can bake the basic small small programs for the scratch programming and then we have a geometrical shapes by using the pen blocks we try to make the calculator we'll i'll show you the coding of all these things fine i'll give you a start i will introduce you with the software that we will do now come to the next slide that what is scratch scratch is a visual programming language that we can see we need not to write it down the codes it's not a character based we have the clock boarding and all that fine then it allows you to create interactive stories you can create your interactive stories games animations and make your own projects quiz for your students fix for your teachers and you can make your life interactive with making these kind of programming then why we learn scratch that we have already covered in our previous thing that it will help us in creativity in problem solving in logic so they all are giving us uh, just a they are giving us the problem solving abilities logical thinking and it empowers our young learners to become creator of technology 
so we are gaining lots and lots of things by learning the programming so this is the interface that we know uh i'll just request everyone not to write it down yes ma'am yes ma'am every time i know you people are very and uh, enthusiastic about this program so i know that whatever i'll ask you just answer that question okay now this is the interface of the uh, scratch programming that you can see that on the top of it we have a menu bar from file edit and all these things then we have the block categories we have a block palette by drag and drop we can come to the script area and make our programs we have a add extension we have a new sprite button sprite button then we can add the backdrop stage area and this is our mascot which help us to perform the things it performs the things we can make so many sprites also and we can add sprites also that we all are going to learn i know you people are so many of you are using scratch but for some of people they are not much familiar with this so this program is helping those people those who don't know it and they will learn a lot from this and then i'll you need to promise me that you all are going to do it script area somebody is asking that what is script area beta abhi i'll show you the examples then you will come to know that script area is the basic area where we are doing the coding we are dragging the drop and drag the code from their block there and we will create the program theek hai okay now uh, these are few block palettes available motion look sound events control sensing operator and variables which are helping us to create the blocking so let's move to the software and we will find it out okay i'll show you the software in the these are this is my software okay so somebody is asking that what is blocking blocking block these are the blocks we said them these are the blocks this is the motion block and if i click here get into this screen and if i click there can you see that my sprite is moving theek okay? hai and if i'll say to turn it to 50 degree is somebody saying that we can do it on phone yes you can do it on phone also the software works on the phone also so this is the movement okay then we have a looks block suppose i want my person to say turn and say hello for 2 seconds so it will say hello for 2 seconds and then vanish these are the looks block then we have a sound block we have a event blocks even i'll click so this is the i will click and it will the my code will work so it's an interesting thing theek hai then we have a control blocks here wait for one second repeat forever we will do the programming itself so that we will uh, do this okay somebody is asking from where we can download the software beta you go to the google and write it down scratch 3.0 you'll be able to download it from they are also plus you can work online right now i am working online so you need not if you don't want to download in your system you can work online also then we have some sensing blocks then we have some operators blocks so these are some of the blocks which are already there but some blocks we have in extension also so in this extension when we click on the add extension we will have these extension available suppose i need a pen block so pen block is present here theek hai then from right hand side if i'll see there is a backdrop so there are so many backdrops are available here and suppose if i want the backdrop of bench so i can just click over there and my backdrop will come here i can add backdrops i can add even more sprites 
I can choose from Sprite. Suppose the person is playing with the Sprite here. So I'll just click it out and I'll get him here. So I can add more sprites. I can add different types of sprites here and different types of backgrounds here. Okay. So let's move my, to my presentation again. As you have seen, there are so many types of blocks here. So uh, let's move here. Okay. Just write it down in chat, which type of block is on the left-hand side and which is on the right-hand side. Sound is left, looks on sound block. Very good. Sound you are guessing, correct, very good. Thank you very much for your responses. It means you all are with me. I'm loving it. Please join you with me. I love to say your name in the meeting. Yeah, Dhruv Kohli is responding. Very good. The Skirat Kaur, very good. Sensing right block, very good. Okay, so just open abracadabra and we will click here and it's the sound block. Very good. And abracadabra here. So sensing block. Very good. Very good. So you guess it correctly that on the left hand side, we have a sound block and on the right hand side, we have a sensing block. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Is it, it is very important to learn about the X and Y coordinates here. Fine. So same here in like in maths, you have learned about the X and Y coordinates. The same concept will go here also that here uh, the sprite where is a moving. It's a zero zero. Then on the top of Y, it's Y is increasing from here side and it decreasing from their side. And X is going, X is equals to 140 at the end and X is equals to minus 140 at the end. So I will show you a small program on it in which just see what is happening and tell me what you have realized in that code. So I'll just open a code for you in which you will have a good idea about X and Y coordinates. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm clicking on it and can you see that now what it is saying? Left side and when I click here, it is showing right side. So what is happening? Just see the code here, what code is saying. Now listen to me and see what the code is saying. We have used when clicked here and then we'll ask X to pick any random situation from minus 200 to 200. So sometimes it is moving here and sometimes it is moving here. It is going in any position. Suppose if I click here, so you can see that right now it is on the minus 180, two. And when I'll click again, it is going to plus 121. So what my program is saying, I'm using the if else block here, that if X position, if my X position will be greater than zero, means it's a positive side, then say I am on the right side, else it will say to the left side, it's fine. So this is happening here. When click here, I will use if and else, if and then else block here. I will decide it down this here. Hmm. Fine. So by this way, I will create this program. If X position is zero, what is my X? X is my Uh, can I share my screen again?
I hope my share is um, visible. Okay, so this is the program in which it is showing that I am on the left hand side or I am on the right hand side. Okay, some of you have raised their hands. So you have some question answers. I will not entertain anyone with the name GS because please come up with your own name. Okay. Fine, let's continue with this. So whenever we do this thing, that is going to be like this, that if you are using if else block, now you can see if and else always work with the condition. So we have given one condition and if the condition comes true, we'll say this. And if the condition comes false, we will say this. So if the position is greater than zero, means it's the positive sign. Okay, uh, my voice is not coming properly. Uh, might be there is some network issue but i'm on a very good it's clear ma'am no worries okay thank you ma'am okay so uh let's continue with the another program and let me say one more thing who is gs please don't interrupt in between don't send the messages as we all are getting disturbed please sir request okay now uh let's move to the presentation so this is we have learned that these are the X and Y coordinates. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. And you all are from six to eight standard. So you might be know that what is quadrants and what are X and Y values. Okay, fine. So let's move to the another program. That is the geometrical shape program that we can draw different types of shapes by uh, the sprite can draw different types of shapes with us. Okay, can you guess that what kind of block we need to draw a shape? Which block we need? Pen block, very good. Very good, because we need to draw, so we need a pen block, very good. Okay. So we know that these all are the polygons with us here. Okay, how many sides we have in this polygon? We have five sides. Yes or no? We have five sides here. This is the hexagon. We have a six sides here. We have a square. We have a four sides here. This is the triangle. We have a three sides here. And this is the circle. Fine. So whenever we are going to make a geometrical shape, we need to take this thing into consideration that how many shapes we are drawing because according to that, we have to set the angle and the steps of our sprite. So the best way that I'm going to give you that whenever we are doing it, so we know that we have a 360 degree angle if I'm talking about this. So this is the 360 degree of angle. So whenever we are making the draw, drawings, when how, how much shape we need? Suppose we will make it 360 divided by 5. It's come out to be? Tell me quickly. 72. Very good. So 72 degree movement will be required to make this. Same way if I want to make a square. So 360 divided by so how much it come out to be 90 degree very good so we have a genius here and suppose i have to make a triangle then what will i do 360 divided by 3 so it's coming out to be 120 degree so this type of small small calculation will help us in making our shapes so let's see let's move to the software and then see how to draw these shapes Okay, so I'll just open a program here, which will help us in making the geometrical shape. See, the very first block that I have used is the event block that when I will click on the green flag, my program will, my script will run. Then I will erase all 
it's optional i want to take it or not because erase all will come when i don't want my previous figure to be there theek hai so if i put the erase all button here or block here so it will erase my previous figure then pen down will help me to draw the trail of lines on the screen then i can set the pen color by default it will come black color but if i want to set the color i have an option here i can set the color to green purple or the saturation or the brightness i can check this out and then what is the size of the pen i want see it's drawing for me yes so it is he has drawn a figure for me which is having the pentagon because it is repeating five times and it is moving for 72 degree suppose now i have to make it for square so can you tell me that what will i write it down in repeat four steps very good i am getting the correct answer so i'll write it down four here okay so what will i write it down in the degrees 90 degree very good so i'll put the 90 degree here and let's click on the green flag and see whether they are drawing a square for me or not yes it is drawing a square now this is the use of this erase all option because if i will remove this i can remove this if i'll remove this and then i'll click so my previous square will remain there this is the thing so i can make lots and lots of shapes lots and lots of patterns using this thing what you have to do you have to play with the code try out new degrees try out new repeat functions forever functions and that will help you to make the things the different different types of shapes and different different types of patterns don't do this that if we have learned a square it's done no in coding you have to draw each and everything each and every step if suppose i'll remove this weight one side here what will happen tell me in chat fast if i'll remove this weight one second what will happen it will continuously do very good it will not wait so it quickly draw it and see how it will do quickly draw it will not wait for one second or two seconds so keep on playing with these blocks sometimes use any other block sometimes use the different types of degrees sometimes use the different type of color suppose uh, i'll show you one more thing here if i'll go to pen block and after this i will set the pen color or uh, change my pen color change my pen color by 10 so can you tell me what will happen here if i add this block here the color changes yes the color changes the brightness can change the saturation can change so let's see what will happen it's going to draw a circle for us uh, let's increase the size of the pen so that we can see the difference let's draw a circle see the color is changing i'll just take a light color and then this is going to be happen so see the color is changing the thing is happening fine so these type of things i will i am requesting you to play with it don't do ki ha square seekh liya ho gaya no square seekho triangle seekho take different types of shapes so explore different types of things theek hai so let's move to the next topic i want that you will have a good taste of the software you will learn so many new things so that you can try other things also okay let's come to the next program this is an additional quiz 
in a, this addition quiz a person my sprite will ask for two numbers and these two numbers then it will go to add it so i am going to apply the logic here logic block here i am going to apply if else block here this is all going to happen okay so let's see this program on the screen see let's try the program first okay so guess the answer Thirty three. Okay, so I'm putting the answer here. Thirty three. Correct answer. Very good. So let's see how this code is working. <clears throat> What's happening in this code? First of all, we'll take when space key pressed. We will take. Uh, why I have chosen a different. Uh, I say event. so that you come to know that other events are also there when clicked means the green flag clicked when space key press you have a space bar key some programs we will create to make it through arrow keys tomorrow in the class we are going to learn a game in which we will play with the arrow key fine so arrow keys so there there are possibilities that there are other events are possible so i have taken this event here when space key was pressed so whenever i'll press my space key my program will get active and they will randomly choose two numbers and get it you can play with your friends you can have the addition problem i have created this program for addition you can create this for multiplication for division or anything like that to play with your friends and to play with your kids so how we, we have done this i'll just give you a brief description of the code that first of all we have used when space key pressed so this is the event happening here then we will set i have taken a control block here if else this is the control block and for set number we have the variables so we have to set the variables here number one variable number two variable because we have to give two numbers to that so how to create a variable we have a block here make a variable suppose i'll just tell you how to make it a uh, answer so this is my variable answer come so agar maine yahan par answer likhne ke liye bola to wo answer bhi likh dega so i can create the variables like this so when space key pressed then we are saying tell to set number 1 set number 1 to pick random 10 to 15 random is the operators we have taken from here pick random 1 to 10 you can give any value i have taken from 10 to 50 you can take it from 50 to 30 40 to 50 or if you want to increase you can take any random number it will pick any number from there so i have set it down there same thing i will do it for second number that set the another number pick random number 10 to 50 that is optional to you again i am telling you play with the code once you have created a program once you have done a program explore that program make something new out of it fine okay then comes the ask block ask block is the sensing block that ask he is asking us that what is the question so asking so what we are using we are using a join block here that is the operator block that we need to join two or more things we need an operator block so join what is number 1 plus number 2 so i'll put it here like this and ask for join what is number 1 and number 2 and wait he has to wait for the answer okay then this is the control block if my answer is equals to number 1 plus number 2 it is going to calculate for us give us the answer that is 
for sure is our new variable in which the answer gets stored. Say correct answer for two seconds. Start sound meow and say so sorry if the answer is wrong. So this is just a simple example in which you can create a game, a addition quiz. Then you can create other. Oops. One more time, we'll give a try to it. Okay, so tell him to pick some number for us. Okay, I'm getting the answer 53. That's the correct answer. So one more time. Oh, can you uh, listen a sound here? He's saying meow for this. No. It's just saying for a small second, if you will listen to that again. Okay, I'll show you a sound block, how sound block works. Okay, so I've done with this. Now, uh, suppose I want to change its costume. I can, you know that I can change the costume. So suppose I want to change the color of this. So I can fill color and make him blue. It's not looking nice. Make it any other color. Oh, it's very going dark. So any choice, you can decrease the saturation if you don't like the color. I want to change the color. I want to change its foot color. So that I can do. I can change the outline of it. So like this way, I can change the color or change the costume of my. Then comes to the sound block. Now listen, are you able to listen? Uh, let me check whether we have shared the sound or not. Okay. Are you able to listen? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so let's move to another program which will help you to see the music blocks. Okay. Okay. Can you see that the sprite is in the party mood right now? Yes, it is in the party mood. So let's see what happened when we click on the flag. Can you see the color is changing? Can you listen to the sound? Yes. Somebody of you are saying yes. Somebody are saying might be you are facing some network problem. So now let's see how this code is working. As we know that sometimes we, we, know, we don't have the music in RD's current block. So again, I'm telling you that we can add music, play instruments and drums from the extension. These are the music blocks which help us to play music. Again, same when clicked, I have taken forever is taking key that it's keep on repeating and repeating. Then I have set a play sound meow until done. Then we have a drums here, different types of drum beats and different type of drums are there. You can click here and hand clap. So whenever I click this, you will get different kind of sounds. This is one of the coding that we have done for the music. This is the coding that we have done to change its costume. That forever next costume, wait for very few seconds and then to the next costume. So it's keep on changing the costumes. You know that when I'll click here, see, it's changing the costume. So this is saying changing the costume when you are changing the color. So like this, you can do that. You can take the screenshot of the codes so that you can practice it after the class. It will be helpful you to create the programs and then keep playing it again again I'm saying uh, here it is extension beta on the top left hand side somebody is asking for extension fine okay so this is the music block let's see some more programs 
we have seen the music programs is just a small program of saying hello see there is a sprite over here i have changed the background it's a frog and what they are doing let's see the steps that we are doing here that when clicked repeat 10 times play sound pop until done say hello for 6 seconds move 10 steps and say next cycle for 2 seconds let's see what happening here so it's say hello next cycle so you can put any prompt any say anything there are looks blocks here so i can ask him to think also if i'll say so it will think we'll say hello for 6 seconds move 10 steps next cycle and then he will think for a very few seconds i can put it think for a more than five seconds suppose so now see what's happening you can say hello and it's happening okay so this kind of things you can do with him and you can create some stories so for that let's add one more uh, we can say his friend with whom he will talk so i'll take butterfly so frog is talking with a butterfly so for butterfly suppose like when i click in the frog the coding related to the frog will come when i click on the butterfly the coding related to the butterfly will come suppose i'll say him again i'll take the event block when clicked say hello for two seconds let's see what's happening here so you say hello hello so they are talking with each other so like this way you can create stories you can create quizzes and like this i hope you enjoyed i hope you are enjoying the session you are learning great okay let's move to the slide again next thing in our this is calculator same thing same code type of coding the way we have done the addition the code will go i'll show you the code quickly you you can take the screenshot of that code and then uh, Pooja, we, we have to, to the... stop a bit uh, good evening uh, we sure. have to stop a bit sure. uh, gs is creating nuisance so let me uh, remove him otherwise otherwise we can stop chat for a moment sure only allow his questions to be asked okay sir. So for a moment, I'm taking host back and then I will reassign you. Okay, sir. No issues. In the meantime, if you have some questions, you can write it down in your question answer Dear session. students, please come uh, with your correct names. Uh, anyone using wrong names will not be allowed. Uh, somebody is saying that, dear ma'am, are we going to have this class daily? No better. Please ask your teacher. She will guide you whenever you have this class. She will provide you with the link. Same link will go for okay. all the classes. I'll disable are... chat for a moment. We will be taking questions at the end. Uh, we do not want any nuisance to be created. Okay, sir. Ujamam chat is disabled now, I guess. You can go ahead. Okay. 
ओके सर थैंक यू सर ओके आई एम शेयरिंग माई स्क्रीन अगैन so let's look a uh, how our calculator is working you can take the screenshot of the code so that you can practice on the words and then we'll have a quick 10 minutes quiz that what you are gaining from this so see how the calculator is working here i'll just give you a brief description of what it is when click then i have used a forever block for each and everything inside it because i want my action to be repeated every time every time it went into the loop whenever we want something to be in the loop that it goes on goes on goes on happening that will take a forever loop for that then we'll ask what would you like to do plus minus multiply or divide if answer is equals to 1 then ask give me the first number and wait set first number to answer ask me the second number set answer then set result what will be the result first number and the second number then say result for 2 seconds so this is going to be happen now i'll extract the part of the code which is in the repetitive way that is this part if from if to this this is once you have created this only this much you have to create first if you have created this then the rest of the part will be in the repetition only you have to change the signs here from plus to minus and from here to plus to minus otherwise the entire code will be same so it's very easy to create it's not like that you can't create it it's very easy you just take the screenshot of this and you will be able to make it out tomorrow just tell me in the chat box that how many of you have tried and for how many of you it's working very nicely so you can have your math practice you can have your things like that with us and it's going to help you a lot in your studies also and learning also fine so this is the thing from my side now let's have a quick quiz okay you all are on the internet right now i'm giving you a code to join just give me a few seconds i'll just start up so it will be a quick, quick brush up of what you have done in today's class okay this is the code join my quiz dot com and this is the joining code it will not take it we have just small 10 question it will not take more than 10 minutes so quickly join and uh, yes the people of students are joining yashika and please join it with your name join with your name because at the end when you will win your name will flash here quickly join only three participants have joined yet uh if you have another device in your hand i can share the qr code also you can scan this qr code and join and i am uh, writing the code in the chat section also uh, so, okay chat is not working so you have to do it from here only very good very good so i'm giving you another 1 minute to join and then i'll start the quiz with you all very good very good please join with your name we have 28 participants till now in the game and we have 197 participants quickly join i'm giving you one more minute to join so 
once we'll be 50, I'll start the game. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm starting the game. Those who have joined. Oh, you people are quickly joining. Okay, now I'm starting the game. So you all have questions on your screen. Quickly answer it. Very good. Very enthusiastic students. Very nice. We have lots of students joining. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see who, who will. In the meantime, I am on my question answer session. So if you have any question, you can write. In the meantime, the others are doing. If you have any query, please write it down in your question answer session. I'll answer them in the meantime, the others are doing. If you are unable to join the game. So, Abhi one is on the top. Quickly be the winner. Very nice. So once we we'll get our winners. I'll end the game. I'm giving you another one minute at 5.55. I will close. So you have one more minute. Okay, so I'm ending the game and I'll tell him to show my only top five. Okay, let's see who is the winner. Congratulations to the winner, Abhiwan, Jainayar, Samyak and Kiana. Can you just write it down from which school you are in the chat? These are my 100% scorers, very good. Okay. Congratulations to all of you. We are going to definitely meet tomorrow and we'll have a blasting session tomorrow. So anybody is having any question answers? Uh, so can we start question answers? You will be able to write it down, I suppose. So, yes, beta, you can do it on iPad also. Okay, so can we end our session now? It was a wonderful session with you all, and I hope you learned a lot. Tomorrow again, we are going to meet for one more session on Scratch. 
sir are you there can we end up the session okay so i'm just going through the question answers again i'm not getting any question to answer so tomorrow we are going to meet at the same time 5 o'clock have a nice day bye bye